as peremptory as she proud-minded. Well, and uh, where two raging fires meet together, they do consume the thing that feeds their fury. Where are my slippers? Shall I have some water? What's this? Mutton? I? It is burnt, and so is all the meat. What dogs are these? Where is the rascal? How durst you villains bring it from the dresser and serve it thus to me that like it not? Here, take it! Trenchers, cups, and all. I'll bring mine action on the proudest he that stops my way in Padua. If you say ship's passing in the night, I'm gonna scream! You don't wanna be tied down! You don't wanna be tied down! Does anyone! Like, besides bondage purse and heifers! What are we into that? What the hell are we doing with each other? Why do you keep demanding answers all the time? Because I'm bothered by questions! You don't seem to be bothered by anything! I must await today before night come. Make it no wonder if you knew my business, you would entreat me rather go than stay. And. Honest company, I thank you all that have beheld me give myself away to this most patient, sweet, and virtuous wife. What will be said? What mockery will it be to want the bridegroom when the priest attends to speak the ceremonial rites of marriage? What says Lydia to this shame of ours? No shame but mine. In my bed. <laughs> yes, in plain terms, setting all this chat aside. Your father hath consented that you shall be my wife. Your dowry we agreed upon. And will you, nill you, I will marry you. I am born to tame you, Kate. Oh. And kiss on kiss, she oh, flies no. so fast, <laughs> protesting oath on oath, and in a twink she won me to her love. Oh. Oh, you are you are novices. Tis incredible to believe how tame. And men and women are low. Uh, provide the feast, Father, and bid the guests. I am sure my Catherine will be fine. <laughs> I know not what to say. <laughs> God send you joy, Petruchio. Tis a match. Uh, Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, we will be married a Sunday. And for that dowry, I'll assure her of her widowhood, be it that she survives me, in all my lands and leases whatsoever. Uh, let specialities be therefore drawn between us, that covenants may be kept on either hand. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, crowns in my purse I have. And for your love to her, lead apes in hell. Oh, Talk yes. not to me. I will go sit and weep. Until I can find occasion of revenge! Monstrous She is my goods, my chattels. She is my house, my household stuff, my field. My barn, my horse. Why, when I sit, Kate, sit down and be merry. Off with my boots, you rogue, you villain. Some water here, ho! Oh! Where are my slippers? Shall I have some water? Oh, come, Kate, and wash. Welcome, heartily. <laughs> oh! The rogue. And bound, I am to Padua, there to visit a son of mine that long I have not seen. What is his name? Petruchio. What's this mutton? I. It is burnt, and so is all the meat. Dogs are these. Where is the rascal cook? How, How durst you villains bring it from the dresser and serve it thus to me that like it not? Here, take it, you traitor's cup! <laughs> Feed it with such over-roasted flesh. Be patient. Tomorrow it shall be mended. For tonight we'll fast for company. Now come, let me show thee to thy bridal chamber. Come and kick me in the teeth! And that's 
That's your pleasure. That's your heart. Please don't turn me into that ogre you have in your head. It's not me. I'm not. I'm trying to love you. No, I am. I am. It. No, I'm you not. Want it. No, I don't. You want I don't. It. I love you. I love you. So honor pureth in the meanest habit. Go. Call my men and let us straight to him. And bring our horses on long rein and there we will mount and thither walk on foot. And let's see, I think tis now some seven o'clock, and well we may come there by dinner time. Shines the moon. Let me have bigger. I'll have no bigger. This doth fit the time, and gentlewomen wear such caps as these. When you are gentle, you shall have one too, and not till then. <laughs> Why, sir, I trust I may have leave to speak, and speak I will. I am no child, no babe. Your betters have endured me, say my mind, and if you cannot, best you stop your ears. Mm -hmm. My tongue will tell the anger of my heart, or else my heart, concealing it, will break, and rather than it shall, I will be free, even to the uttermost, as I please, in words. Thou sayest true, it is a paltry cap, and I love thee well in that thou likes it not. Love me or love me not, I like the cap, and it I will have, or I will have none. <laughs> 